Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Thursday. We're getting closer to the weekend and the skies are looking beautiful. This was a look at the sunrise in Magna this morning. Scott Taylor posted this photo to Utah's Weather Authority. Oh, I love the colors out there. And we have another beautiful day with blue skies, a few more clouds, a look from the Tribune camera, lots of sunshine. And look at those skies down at Zion National Park. Lots of sunshine. So we're dealing with sunny skies in the south, partly cloudy skies in the north. That's what you're seeing right now. Uh, but we have two big things happening. So we have this storm that's to the north of us, and this is going to send a weak cold front. It's going to clip the beehive state, and this is going to bring us the chance for some light rain and snow showers, not for everyone. The bigger impact is going to be those gusty winds, and then behind it, as this front moves out, high pressure builds in, and this is going to be the main character in our story this weekend. This is going to help those temperatures climb like crazy. We're talking a series of 80-degree days. Now, the big story with this cold front, as I mentioned, it's the winds, and we do have this wind advisory that will go into effect at 3 o'clock this afternoon for our western Uinta Basin. This is where we're expecting the strongest gusts. Gusts up to 50 miles per hour, winds coming out of the northwest, 20 to 30 miles per hour. So if you're watching right now and you are living in these areas, make sure you secure some of those loose objects outside. If you've got some of that lawn furniture that's out or you're spending some time out there. In addition to that, we're going to see some of those canyon winds developing tonight across the Wasatch Front. So the timing of these winds, it's most likely from 11 o'clock this evening until 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. So those gusts. Coming out of the east, 35 to 45 miles per hour. This is going to make driving difficult late tonight into early tomorrow morning, specifically from Farmington to Centerville. We could see gusts up to 55 miles per hour. So I do want you to be prepared if you're going to be out driving tomorrow. This is going to make things a little bit more treacherous. So difficult driving. Keep in mind, just taking your time, giving yourself plenty of extra time early tomorrow morning, but then they die down. And Friday is going to end up being fairly quiet. Today, ahead of that cold front, it's going to look and feel good. Upper 60s, nearing 70, a little bit above average for us in Salt Lake City. Winds coming out in the northwest, 5 to 15 miles per hour. So it'll start to get a bit breezy this afternoon. Mid 50s in Park City. You'll see partly cloudy skies in the north. Nothing but sunshine down south. 87 in St. George, 77 in Moab, 50 in Evanston. And you can see 75 in eastern, uh, western Utah. Excuse me. And tonight we're going to drop down to the low 40s, partly cloudy skies, and it's going to be breezy. St. George, you drop a couple degrees tomorrow. You don't notice much of a difference, but this weekend, you're back to the 90s. Things are going to be really warm. I want you to be especially careful spending time outside Slot Canyons. We are going to be dealing with flooding concerns. By early next week, though, we're going to see temperatures dropping a bit, low 80s Tuesday and Wednesday. And in northern Utah, Tomorrow, you're not going to notice much of a difference. You're only dropping to 67, so it's going to be a fairly mild day. Temperatures at our average. This weekend, though, that's when things change. We warm up pretty fast. Mid-70s Saturday and a series of 80-degree days, Sunday and Monday. And we've been talking about it. I want to remind you, creeks, rivers, streams running fast, high, and really, really cold. So be careful if you're spending time outside. But by the middle of next week, we start to cool down upper 70s on Wednesday.